The rescue team at Clearwater Marine Aquarium has been monitoring a young dolphin in a small area of Allen's Creek in Clearwater um, for about 18 days. And they've been watching the dolphin over the past few weeks, staying in the same same cove area, same lagoon area, and there was a, a, a sh short, uh, kind of tight bridge that the dolphin didn't want to go past. It's a young animal, good body condition, behavior seemed to indicate that it was doing okay. We didn't see any signs of distress. It looked like the dolphin was in pretty good shape, um, didn't, didn't look like it was having issues. It's just long term, it's not great to have a, a dolphin in such a small area. So we decided we were going to uh, encourage it out of that area and, and get, it, get it moving. <laughs> There was about 25 to 28 of us in the water and our main goal was just to create a straight line across from us. So we were shoulder to shoulder, no gaps. We didn't want any gaps to let the animal see an opportunity to um, pass us. We all moved at a steady pace. And then every time we would come up to an obstacle, whether that was a tree or whether that was a dock, um, we would have to navigate around those while still maintaining shoulder to shoulder. So that was a bit challenging. Of course, we are reporting to NOAA uh, and they will, they evaluate all of the data that we bring to them. So um, with the information that we provided, nobody really had any um, concerns except harassment. Um, and that is a concern um, because dolphins are protected by the Marine Mammal Protection Act um, and harassment is very dangerous for these animals. Um, so we didn't want to see anyone attempting to feed or chase uh, or interact in any way because it was detrimental to their health. Um, and then behind us, we had Andy Garrett with FWC, and he was the one that was calling out when to advance, when to slow down. And tighten the space down, kind of pushing the uh, dolphin towards the end of the canal and just kind of encouraging it that, you know, this is not where you want to be and, and you know, kind of overcome that fear of, of shooting through that, that gap inside the, uh, underneath the bridge. So we've seen this in the past that sometimes the noise from the trucks and cars going over the bridge is, is kind of a sound barrier for the dolphin. It doesn't want to kind of leave the area. Give it enough motivation to go under that bridge and out to the open waterway where it can eventually make its way out to the bay. Uh, towards the end, as we were getting closer to the bridge, uh, the dolphin had made a quick turnaround um, near part of our line. Um, and for a second, we were worried that maybe it had broken our line of people, but it, he actually had made a quick turnaround, thought about it for a second, and then as we looked through the bridge, we could see him displacing water with his dorsal fin, and then just on the other side of the bridge, we saw his dorsal fin come up. Did he go, you guys? He went? Yeah. He went through! Yay! And it worked. Uh, it, it does take a lot of coordination. Um, it took a little bit of patience and time to get the animal where we needed it, it to be in the canal. Um, so it was very exciting for after almost uh, 20 plus days for him to finally be out of the canal.